Hi friends, here is a beautiful problem. We are given 5R, 5R square and 5. These three are the lengths of sides of a triangle. 5, 5, R, 5, R square. Then R cannot be equal to what? Okay. So let us try to appreciate the problem first. Okay. 5, 5, R and 5, R square. Okay. So these three are in geometric progression. Right? R is a common ratio of 5R and 5R square. Let us see. So for example, if R equals 1, then definitely all three sides are equal to 5. Then this is an equilateral triangle. If R equals 1, clearly R is 1 is possible. Can R be equal to 0? No. Right? Because it is will be, this will be 5 and these sides will be 0. Can R be negative? No. R cannot be negative because we cannot have a side whose length is negative. Right. So, R clearly cannot be less than or equal to 0. Okay. That is very clear. Can R be 2? Can R be 2? If R is 2, then 5, then 10, and then 20. Right. These are the sides. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. This is clearly not possible. So, R clearly has to be less than 2. Okay. R can be 1 that we have realized r cannot be less than or equal to 0. That means r has to be greater than 0. r has to be greater than 0. r has to be less than 2. That is very clear. Okay. Now, now 5, 5r five and 5r square. Clearly, if r is greater than 1, then 5 will be less than 5r is less than 5r square. Okay. If r is greater than 1. Similarly, if r is less than 1, obviously in both cases r greater than 1 is r less than 2 and uh, here r less than 1 means still r greater than 0. Then 5r square will be less than 5r less than 5. Simply, right? If r is greater than 1, let's say this will become 5, 5.1, then 5.2 or something. Similarly, 5, 4.9, 4.8, 4.7, something like this when r is less than 1. Okay, only these two cases are possible. Either 5 is lowest or 5R square is lowest or 5 is highest length of the largest side. Okay, so now when lengths of the sides, if it is a triangle, we know sum of two lengths should be greater than the third one. So obviously, let us take the smallest two ones in both the cases. Smallest two ones are 5 plus 5R should be greater than 5R square. In this case, or 5R square plus 5R should be greater than 5. In this case, when, when R is greater than 1 or R is less than 1. Okay, in both cases, R should be less than 2 and R should be greater than 0. Okay, so now, okay, smaller sum of smallest two sides should be greater than, uh, should be, should be greater than the largest side. Okay. Right, if this is sufficient, we know all uh, smallest two sides, if they are greater than uh, the largest side, obviously that means the largest side plus any of the other two sides will be greater than the third side. Right. Obviously, right, if two small people can beat the third big guy, then obviously that means the third big guy plus one of the small people could, be, could beat the other small guy. Right. So, if sum of two smaller ones is greater than the bigger one, the biggest of the three, the obviously the biggest one plus either of the other one should be greater than the third one. So, 5 plus 5R should be greater than 5R squared when R is greater than 1 and 5R squared plus 5R should be greater than 5 when R is less than 1. Sum of smallest two sides should be greater than the third side. Okay. So, now what does this mean? 5R squared minus 5R minus 5 should be less than 0. If we simplify these two equations, these two equations, what does that mean? 5 plus 5R should be greater than or equal to 5R squared. That means 5R squared minus 5R minus 5 should be less than 0. That means R squared minus R minus 1 should be less than 0. Okay. So, this is a quadratic equation, right? R squared minus R minus 1 is a quadratic equation if it is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is a quadratic equation. Then, what are the roots of this equation? Hmm. Forget about minus less than 0. When it is equal to 0, what are the roots? 
1 plus or minus root 5, minus b plus or minus, minus of minus 1 plus or minus under root b square minus 4 ac. That is 1 minus of minus 4, which is 1 plus 4, which is 1 plus or minus root 5 by 2. So that equation will look something like this. Okay. This, this one. This equation. This is this graph of this equation. Right. R square minus R minus 1. This is half of plus or minus of plus or minus root 5 by 2. What is root 5 by 2? 2.2 by 2, which is 0. 0.6. 1 half plus or minus 0. 0.6. That's why this equation is going till 1.6. Okay. This point is 1.6 and this point is minus 0. 0.6. 0. 0.5 minus 1.6. This point is 1.6. Okay, half plus 1.1, which is 1.6, and half minus 1.1, which is minus 0. 0.6. Okay, these are the two places where this graph x r square minus r minus 1 is meeting x axis. Okay, this is this graph. Now, this graph should be less than 0. When is this less than 0? Obviously, in this part. Obviously, this part, this part, this part is less than 0. That means R should be between these two points, between these two points. But R, this point, this side, R less than 0 is anyway, we are not concerned. We are only concerned about this part. Okay. This part. When R is greater than 0 and R is less than 1.6. Okay. When R is greater than 0, R is less than 1.6, then we are concerned about. Those are the cases. When then, 5 plus 5 R should be, will be greater than 5 R square. Okay. That is not R. We have to verify 5R square plus 5R should be greater than 5 also. Okay. 5R square plus 5R should be greater than 5. Why? Because when R equals R is less than 1. 5R square plus 5R should be greater than greater than 5. Okay. What does that mean? R square plus R minus 1 should be greater than 0. This is again a quadratic equation. This equation will look something like this. This green, this green graph. Okay. What are the roots? Minus half plus or minus root 5 by 2 again. Minus half plus or minus root 5 by 2. Okay. This is minus half. Minus half plus root 5 by 2. That is plus 1.1 or minus 1.1. That is again minus 1.6. This is minus 1.6. And then this is 0.6. Okay. This graph, these are the, these are the coordinates. Now, this graph should be greater than 0. This graph, when is it greater than 0? This graph is greater than 0 in this part or in this part. Okay. When, when r is less than this or r is greater than this. r is greater than this or r is less than this. r less than this. This part we are not even concerned. Why? Because r cannot be less than 0. Right. That is our initial proposal also. Because what is r? r is the ratio of the sides. Ratio of sides, clearly it is cannot be less than 0. So, we are not concerned about this part. We are only concerned about this part. So, R should be greater than this 0. 0.6. What is 0. 0.6? 0. 0.6 is minus half plus root 5 by 2. Okay, this is this one. Minus half plus root 5 by 2. That is this one. So, R should be, as per the second, as per this equation, R should be greater than this one. R should be greater than this point. Okay. R should be R should be right of this. As per this equation. As per this equation. As per this equation, R should lie between lie between 0 and 1.6. Okay. So we have got two equations. Two equations. One equation is saying, this equation is saying R is lying between 0 and 1.6. That is between here to here. Okay, the second is equation is saying R has to be greater than this one. Okay, so here this is the this is the limit for one of the equation. For the other equation, this is the limit. It has to be greater. So what does that mean? The common part of both is this part. Okay, that is 0. 0.6 to 0. 0.6 to 1.6. That is a, that is what is 0. 0.6 
minus half plus root 5 by 2, minus half minus 0.5 plus 1.1, this is 0 0.6, plus half plus 0.5 plus 1.1, that is 1.6. So, this part, 0 0.6 to 1.6 is the area where both the equations are getting solved, or, or both the equations are getting satisfied, that is r square minus r is less than 0, that means this first equation, this first equation is less than 0, and at the same time, this is less than 0, and r is greater than 0, we have three equations basically, r is greater than 0, this one, and r square minus r minus 1 is less than 0, and r square plus r minus 1 is greater than 0, three equations simultaneously we have to satisfy, r greater than 0 is this part, whatever positive to x axis, and r square minus r, minus 1 less than 0, r square minus r minus 1 is less than 0. What does that mean? The uh, This part is that, it is less than 0. Okay, this part, this part, that means x is between minus 0 0.6 to 1.6 r and r square plus r minus 1 should be greater than 0. What does that mean? This x is towards the right of this point or towards the left of this point. Okay, so all three put together, we are concerned about only this part. In this part, r is greater than 0 and this equation would be greater than 0 and this equation would be less than 0. Okay, so now we know r should lie between 0 0.6 and 1.6. Let us look at the question. Let us look at the problem. 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is 1.25. So this is fine. 7 by 4, it is 1.7, which is not part of our range, right? It should be 0. 0.6 and 1.6. 3 by 4, 3 by 2, 1.5, it is within our range. 3 by 4, 0. 0.7, 5, that is also within our range. Clearly, this is not within our range. So, this is the correct answer, right? R cannot be equal to 7 by 4, right, guys? We can manually verify also substituting r 7 by 4, then one of this will not get satisfied. 7 by 4 means it is something, it is it is somewhere here, right? Then this equation, this equation will no longer be less than 0. This equation will be greater than 0, right? Cool, guys. It's a nice problem. Hope you like this. Thank you.